author, motivational speaker, Anupam Kher is one of Bollywood's most talented actors who has also successfully forayed into Hollywood. Tragedy or comedy, Anupam has aced both with Ilan and won several awards. What distinguishes Anupam from the average Bollywood success story is his slow and steady, rather than a meteoric rise from a very humble background to the status most aspiring and several working actors also can only dream of. Such a story with all its ups and downs, its attendant pains and thrills is the absolute stuff that writing books is made of. When you write honestly and from a space of pain, writing can be the greatest catharsis. A process that both the actor and the writer in you, Anupam, is well acquainted with. I would like to start off by asking you, how have the two artistic outpourings of writing and acting worked for you as cathartic influences? And what has the difference been between, you know, the world of acting and the world of writing for you? Thank you, Vinita. Thank you for this wonderful introduction. Thank you. It, uh, uh, I must first acknowledge that I'm an admirer of your work, the kind of work that you have done and the kind of books that you have written. So primarily, I'm, I'm not an author or a writer. I am, I've trained myself to be an actor and for 30 years of my career, I only, or 29 years, I've only concentrated on, uh, on, on acting. Of course, I opened a school in between and things like that, which is still going, but writing was something which, which I wanted to express what I feel as a person. Um, so all the three books that I have written, the first book, Best Thing About You Is You, was my first book, which was written in 2011, was a basically a, a collage of uh, my articles that I used to write for Deccan Chronicle. It was more about what I feel about life, how to empower yourself, etc. So the second book, which came in fact after six years, was my autobiography, Lessons Life Taught Me Unknowingly, which where I put, even though it's my autobiography, but I basically concentrated on my failures. So, um, and I think in Hindi, I don't think in English. So for me to write books in English, uh, it needs courage and it also needs a certain amount of thought process. Communication in English is possible because you don't have to sort of formulate a certain kind of sentences. So all the three books are an extension of what I have felt it's basically, you can call them life coaching books, you can call them self-help books, or you can call them, at least they, they have made me the person that I am. And I hope that the readers also feel that they can identify with what I'm going through. Yes. Uh, but bo writing books have been more cathartic because when I'm playing a character in a film, that character is that person, it's not me, even though I'm manifesting it into my through my emotions through my acting capabilities but I mean I'm writing the books that I'm and the kind of books that I'm writing it is my direct connection with the readers it, there is no fake quality about my books in my acting there can be a possible because I'm pretending to go through pain I'm pretending to go through happiness I'm pretending to be a miser I'm pretending to be an angry man but as an author I am not pretending at all. I am only writing and that's the only way I can write. I will never be able to maybe write a novel or something like that. I may write a script because it will help me in the films because of my background of films. But uh, this is the kind of book, the, the book that I wrote during pandemic, Your Best Days Today, I felt the urge to write it. Yeah. I felt the need to write it. Not My last book came in 2019, so there was no way that I was thinking of writing another book. But this is my truest uh, form of uh, self-expression and my journey through pandemic. Yes. I think all three of your books have really come from a place where there is that need for an outpouring and you just did it instinctively. Um, it has possibly not been one of your uh, aims in life to write. It just came about. And Absolutely. I think you put that beautifully, saying that when you emote on screen and the catharsis is the catharsis of the character that you're playing, whereas the catharsis in the books is your own. Absolutely. Um, did, you, did you find it a difficult process to put down your thoughts on paper? Because even for people like us who write every day, sometimes it's very difficult to translate a thought into writing. 
So I took a path which was which I borrowed from me as an actor. When I'm going through a difficult speech or a difficult paragraph or a difficult um, emotion, I write them down. Suppose I have seen that uh, that has longer lines, about 10, 20, 50 lines, or it's a soliloquy or something like that. Uh, I And I'm finding it difficult to remember those lines. What I do is I write them down. Okay. Or I'll keep on speaking about it. I'll keep on saying it. I'll keep on saying it again and again. Yeah. I use the same process as a writer. I speak my thoughts into a dictaphone. Okay. I don't write. Mm -mm. Because it's easy for, because I don't, I can't, I'm not disciplined writer. I don't sit from, say, I, I'll sit from nine in the morning till 12 in the afternoon and it will not happen because I'll, I, I'm not trained like that. So what I'll do is I keep, now, nowadays they, you have a tape recording uh, device in the phone itself. So I'll just, in the middle of the night at four o'clock in the morning, I'll get up because the thought will come into my mind. So I write it, I speak into the dictaphone first and then I get it transcribed by somebody. And then I try and sort of make it some kind of a, a sense out of uh, these books. Then it takes a book form. So it's more of a conversation that I'm having with myself. That's why it's an easy read. People say these, these are books. Are basically what they are trying to say is it's a simple, simply written books. And that's why they identify with it. Because it can be your thought process. It can be somebody who is reading this thought process. Yeah. So I go through that process. And then I have wonderful publishers. My publisher, Ashok Chopra of Hay House Publishing House, is fantastic. He's, he's my friend since I was 19 and met him in uh, Delhi, uh, in Chandigarh. He knows me. He knows me as a person. So then he puts, uh, he adds his own uh, dimension to it. He personally edits my book mm -hmm. and he gives it a certain form. He, also the size of the book he decides. So, uh, so it, I have a help uh, from him, but I... There are, there's a chapter that I wrote in this latest book. We'll talk about it. Yes. I'll come to that a uh, little later. But the thoughts are all yours. And even the fact that, you know, this is something a lot of authors do because a thought or an idea can just come and go. And yeah. it's very important to write it down or speak it yeah. into a dictaphone. That's a very uh, interesting technique that you use uh, because a lot of authors do that all the time. And it helps because you yep. go back to that and then you are able to write it in a better manner. And of course, and I, I tell the person who transcribes it, just type it the way I have speak, spoken about it. Yeah. And I see that there are thoughts up and down, but the topic is the same. Yeah. So, and then when I write it, it's, uh, then it takes a little form. Then my knowledge of drama, my knowledge of Western literature, my knowledge of Russian literature. I used to read a lot uh, seven, eight years back. I used to read, I have, I, I mastered uh, Russian literature. I'm very fond of Russian literature. Yazgotovsky or uh, Dostoevsky or, um, or Chekhov or uh, uh, Solzhenitsyn. All these authors I have great I don't uh, read much of science uh, fiction or science books, but uh, whether it's Arthur Miller, whether it's, I read from lowest of Mayapuri to Time Magazine. I used to read everything. Uh, so uh, that helps when I formulate yeah. the sentences. Yeah. The more you read, the better writer you will always be. It has and helped me in my acting also. Yes. It has helped me because reading helps you as an actor. Mm -hmm. When you see, uh, when you read a paragraph, Mm -hmm. On a dark wintry night, this man with a collar up was walking on the streets. Wow. The roads were wet. He stood under a lamp post, take out, took out a packet of cigarette, tried to light it, and then uh, uh, then opened it. Now, you, I've described it to you. Uh, your I wintry night will it. be different. Yeah. My wintry yeah. night will be different. Yeah. Yeah. Your man is standing under the lamp post. But the moment you put it on two-dimension screen, it will be Anupam yes. Kher or Paresh Rawal standing and there will be film city or something like that. So that is how it helped me, my imagination as an actor. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, the books, the, 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 the Chekhov stories, Roald Dahl stories, mm -hmm. Arthur Miller's plays, that amazing uh, visual sense it, it, it gives. So that yeah. it has helped me as an actor, as a person and as a writer. Okay. So okay. somehow when I put it together, it comes, oh my, yeah, this was a good sentence I made. Hmm. This was a good thought that I had. And then I add a, an element of writer into my books. Yes. 
That's a very interesting insight. Such a nice circle between reading, writing, acting, and the passion that you infuse into all of it. I, I think your writing of your best day is today, your book, which is now, of course, already a bestseller, was um, a very uh, brave act uh, in the middle of all that angst, that uh, helplessness, that hopelessness that we were all feeling uh, when there were a lot of people who were making videos of themselves, washing utensils and washing clothes and cleaning their houses. You were sitting and dictating into your dictaphone thoughts and, uh, you know, uh, help uh, trying to um, pep yourself up. And in the process, by writing the book, you pepped up so many other people who've gone through the book and told us all how to deal with the pandemic, which was something which was so unknown to us and so something that we could not handle. I was basically trying to overcome my fear. Hmm. I was, yeah, I, I was fearful when I came from uh, New York to Mumbai on the 20th of March. This uh, finished as abruptly my series that I was doing there in New Amsterdam. I had, when I landed in Mumbai, it was around 11.30 in the morning. I had never seen Mumbai airport the way it was. I had never seen the streets of Mumbai the way it was. It instilled a certain amount of, you see, it, the same atmosphere was there in New York. But New York, I've, I don't know it, but yeah. Mumbai, I've stayed in for 39 years. Mm. I know it at, like a back of my hand. I never felt uh, like this. So there was a fear of the unknown. And then I came back home. Usually my, I, I meet uh, some friends who come downstairs. My domestic helps come. I can see the bright faces that they have seen me after eight months or four months or three months. And they feel very happy. They show expect. But over here, the two people, my domestic help, who I've known them for a long time, came with the masks. I could not make them from their eyes, whether they're frightened <laughs> to see me or they're happy to see me yes. or they're fearful that, oh my God, a man has traveled for 16 hours. I hope he's not carrying any virus or something like that. Uh, we yeah. Social distance. Yes. We were all scared of each other. At we that are time, scared it was too other. much. And yeah. then my son opened this door so much, Sikandar, and mm. gave this elbow bump. Yeah, elbow bump. <laughs> Dad, 14 days, please don't uh, expect yeah. me to venture out of my room or see you. It's not going to happen. Yeah. yeah. So suddenly I had this fear of the uh, unknown. You see, when fear is of something known, you know how to deal with it. Whether it is war, whether it is enemy, whether it is a disease, you know, etc., etc. You know somehow, even if you are fearful about it. But over here, I had never seen streets of Mumbai like that. Yes. So I said, this is what I see in Will Smith's film. Mm -hmm. I am legend. The world has come to an end and he's only walking with his dog. Mm -hmm. And I'm an eternal optimist. I am, my career has been a result of my optimism rather than my talent. Because I have always found situations, the worst situation in my life, and I'll say, oh, there is a silver lining in this. But over here, I was not finding any. Only after two, three days, I said, now how do I find and feel better about it? And I, then I heard birds chirping out of my, out of my house. First time. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was whistling back and she was whistling back. I had never done that. Really? Yeah. And when I looked up, I saw shades of blue in Mumbai sky. Uh -huh. so I said, this is an indication that it's not so bad. Mm. But writing and speaking in the dictaphone was to drown my own fear in my words, whether they were spoken or whether they were written. Yeah. So that was the need to do that. And then I, uh, and I said, what, so I started writing my journey and what I'm going through, what I'm feeling. And then some very dear friends, their death did not help at all. Yeah. In, uh, whether it was Rishi Kapoor, which I, with whom I had spent almost a year in New York when he was getting uh, treated there. We had come very close. Otherwise we meet work to work. Irfan Khan, a mm -hmm. young, brilliant, dynamic actor. My yoga teacher's exactly. husband, who was my friend, also passed away. Mm -hmm. uh, and not, none of them passed away with COVID. Yes. But death world, worldwide was becoming a, yes. uh, a, a, a statistics rather than an emotion of sense of and loss. And there was a helplessness because you could not participate even in their ceremonies or yes. go and pay your last respects to no, them. not at all. Because that is such a healing thing that Yes. You can't bring back the person who is gone, but at least when you meet the people, you give Pay them a last respect. Yes. yes. It was not happening. My, then my mother and my brother and my 
sister in law and their daughter they got covid positive mm-hmm. so how could i deal with it and i had never taken an off in 36 years of my career yeah and i was morning till night till morning i was sitting alone the only way i could do was to write it down yes. was to speak into so it was it to was a big help for you and yes. in my own sense wanting to find what is good out of coming out of this covid yes. and that's how the book came out yeah and and the book is suffused with that positive spirit and that spirit of like you know telling people that okay things are bad but something good will come of it I and I, 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 i read the book and, and in one place you say um and i'll read it out you say an unknown why vi- unseen virus a virus that would soon unite humankind it would test our patience force us on a journey within and along with it bring about a sea of change absolutely What changes have you seen in people in your friends your family your fans uh, because of first of all i will see i always start with myself that what are the changes that i am going to say i used to feel that i am a very restless person my friends used to also say it kiran used to also say that tum kitna kuch karna chahte ho idhar bhi baatte rehte ho udhar bhi karte rehte yes kitab bhi likhni hai school bhi chalana hai comedy bhi karni hai ye bhi karna hai i discover that i am not so restless though my restlessness has helped me in creating the work that i have created it's very important to be restless hmm. but i'm calm that was a very very soothing feeling for me yes i discovered that we are always in a hurry to talk at people rather than talk to people yeah. i discovered that i i can express my emotions by listening also i discovered the importance of pause in life i as an actor i disco- i know what an important thing pause is but as a person i never thought how important a pause is i went into meditation i never used to believe in meditation i used to say that living in life with people is meditation Yeah. Hmm. I still feel that a part of me still feels that that meditation is about being able to live happily in the situations that you are around but i understood the importance of breathing hamesha bar bar bolte the na are breathe 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 hmm. deeply breathe you say theek ho jayega matlab kya theek ho jayega breathe to kar hi rahe hain ha breathe to kar hi rahe hain but then i read something fast most fascinating it's an amazing theory you see the concept of time the concept of years the concept of months seconds hours this is man made ki 365 days should be there january february to december are there 60 seconds makes one minute 60 minutes make one but before this was made by man or men or people women human beings we are sent according to me by the number of breaths that we are supposed to have the slower you breathe the longer you live wow that's what i discovered okay look at a dog dog hmm. lives only for 13 14 years hmm kachua 400 years 300 years hathi longer time so i understood the importance of breathing in my life then what changes i saw that people discovered that communication is the most important thing reaching out to people in the most the most important thing i had a 10th standard picture black and white picture of my 59 students from my school yes. dav higher secondary school in shimla i called out of those 59 students i called up 38 people and reached out to them wow i was talking to some of them after 50 years 51 years we were 14 15 uh, when we uh, when we clicked that picture they were unbelievably happy and so was i means उन दिनों अभी भी शायद स्कूल में पूरा नाम लेते हैं अनिल दत्ता विजय प्रूथी सुमन तिवारी आपने बोला सही बोला रोल कॉल लेते हैं सो आई रीच आउट टू देम देर आर सो मेनी पीपल हु डिस्कवर देर ओन सम टैलेंट बिकॉज देवर वी वर ऑल रनिंग फास्ट नो वेयर इन आर लाइफ प्री कोविड we also discovered that we are not the only inhabitants of this planet humne atyachar kar rakha tha humne tufaan macha rakha tha human beings ne by our creed that there are other inhabitants there are trees plants there are animals there are birds so we are passion towards when then also we had taken this covid warriors for granted doctors uh, municipal corp workers and the, the police people etc etc to hamara dhyan apne aap se hatkar 
we also started concentrating on other people also mm-hmm. i had never i used to hate the topic in fact that happens to you when you cross 55 or 6 reach 60 you hate the topic of death among your friends you don't want to talk about it because you think that now you are approaching towards a situation my father was 84 so i have 24 years left etc so i used to hate talking uh, talking talking about it i saw so many deaths and so many uh, news about it that it took away the fear of death out of me that there's a topic of death about it i never thought i will ever write it I, i i i never thought that i will take a sabbatical from social media i took a sabbatical from social media for in fact the last chapter is that because i wanted to write it for 20 days to feel it gave me such a sense of liberation i mm. felt so liberated mm. it's like quitting smoking yeah which i quit 10 years back or 8 years back but getting rid of social media means aap dekhte na ki mere kitne positive aaye kitne mere likes aaye kitne dislikes aaye it it's addictive it, it's a, it's addictive Yes. and for 20 days not to even look at my phone was so Big empowering discipline. yes was so so there are so many things and also i feel that the churning has happened yeah amrit manthan jo bola jata tha ki is churning mein there will be poison also or there will be amrit also mm-hmm. the world has gone through a churning mm-hmm. it will be a different place yes. it will be a better it you one can feel in your own self how much time have you spent in your house that it has given you a certain sense of calmness even if we are going through insecurity even if we are going through sense of uncertainty all those things are there but the fact that you have been able to deal with this 8 9 10 months and you still are doing this interview that means it has you have understood your strength yeah and that's what life is all about mm-hmm. if you come closer to yourself and that is how you will come closer to the world yes it brings about a certain balance and a certain a sthirta sthir ho jata hai bilkul ji 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 in there's a very beautiful sentence in your book which i remember where you've said it is not always uh, waiting for the storm to pass sometimes it is important to learn how to dance in the rain i found that beautiful so well said yes. and so you learned to dance in the rain and you're teaching all of us how i'm always i have always celebrated my failures yes. exactly yes, i exactly. never got I never got my in your introduction you said that's what separates me from other people yes. because you I You talk honestly about it. Yeah yeah because that that sort of takes away the fear of uh, fear of wanting to be somebody else. I don't like to pretend because people who don't people who pretend don't like themselves. I like myself so what I have done with my life. Mm. I'm a son of a forest department clerk from in Shimla mm. and lived in a small house with 14 people in it. but we were very happy there one day i asked my grandfather i said dada ji we are very poor why are we happy mm-hmm. he said something brilliant he said beta when you are very poor the cheapest luxury is happiness <laughs> how beautiful yeah so well, i have every time it's not the person who is optimistic does not go through depression does not go through sadness does not feel low or does not indulge in self pity everybody does does that mm-hmm. but then failure can be celebrated my father used to say failure is an event never a person yes the event fails mm-hmm. person does not fail unless he or she accepts its mm-hmm. situation so that dancing of the in, in the rain is kya hoga abhi kya kar kya kar sakte hain is covid mein humne kya kar liya ya to bahut hi negative ho sakte the ya positive ho sakte the i started doing yoga all over again i started concentrating on my on my body on my side working out it made me feel good about it mm-hmm. and the productive thing of to be able to come out with a book yes in the pandemic which you said mm-hmm. is like dancing in the rain yes that is your dance in the rain absolutely yeah, exactly yeah so in 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 this time we saw a you know both aspects of humanity we saw a certain cold coldness in people where they were you know the way we treated some of those who were Uh, infected with the virus who were who tested covid positive and we you know didn't allow them to come into their houses their residences their communities and on the other hand there has been this outpouring of sympathy and empathy and compassion and you've spoken about both aspects in the book um, do you feel that one has to humanity has to pass through one to get to the other because i remember in your earlier book i was flicking through that also the uh, your book the best thing about you is you um in in this you have spoken about uh, you emphasize on the uh, you know the extreme 
polarity in uh, uh, humans, the existence of that, those extremes, like if there's goodness in us, there is badness in us. Gotcha. If there's positiveness, is, if there's positivity in us, there's negativity in us also. So do you think we have to go through the bad to come out good? Do we have to be unsympathetic to finally understand what sympathy is all about? I'll have to think about this answer. I feel that we have to go through emotions optimistically and realistically and truthfully. Yes. When we run away from the emotions, whether you don't like somebody, whether yes. you then you pretend in front of that person, it's not possible that everybody will like you. Yes. It's not possible. We have found faults in gods also. Mm. Forget about human beings. Mm. We, 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 the section of people who criticize. So the, you at the end of have to, it have to decide that these are the seven, eight people in my life who are honest to me and I'm honest to them. The rest of them are my work colleagues, etc., etc. That is a very huge learning in life. That is a huge, huge learning. It is, but it comes, it comes with, it comes with going through bad times. Through bad times, exactly. You unfortunately have to go through those bad times to discover how to tell other people and tell yourself how to deal with those bad times. Yes. You see, on top of it, we are in a world of information age now. Yeah. You know, to, uh, I, I think you, you're much younger than me, but I think you still have a sense of wonder because you are also pre-mobile phones era when you have seen yeah. when people, emotions and, sense, and relationships were much, much more important. Mm -hmm. I remember that when I used to shoot uh, before this whole technology came in, we used to sit under, there was no makeup vans, there was no managers and PRs and secretaries and uh, bodyguards. I was, we used to be alone and mm -hmm. one assistant will help you. We used to sit under a tree and chat. We used to talk. That's why my friendship with Jackie Shroff, Mithun Chakravarti, Anil Kapoor, Sunny Deol, all these, um, Sri Devi, is no more, and unfortunately, Madhuri, we interacted with each other. In today's time, I, what I was trying to tell you that information can be gathered from Google, mm. but knowledge comes by living life. Yes, exactly. You have to go through, at a very young age, a very dear friend of mine, I was 17. My friend Pavan Abrol, his name was. Uh, thanks for in fact telling me why do we remember the full name? <laughs> yeah. Because of the roll call, yes. Pavan Abrol died. And I was, I did not, that was the first dead body I had ever seen in my life. And he died of cancer. He was 16 year old. He was a very dear friend of mine. But I, uh, I, that visual, stayed with me and every time in Bombay, Shimla, Lucknow, a dead body used to pass. Somehow it used to connect me to Pavan. And I did not know till my father passed away because then I had to deal with him. I was the elder son. I had to sort of go through the whole rituals, etc., etc. You have to go through the life and trauma and sadness to yes. be able to come out of it. Yes. You cannot take shortcuts. Mm -hmm. You, you know yeah that's but, that's what you do you, you talk about this in your earlier book and that's where i picked it up from yeah um, do you do you subscribe to the notion that um, this uh, corona perhaps um, um, is uh, destiny nature god call it what you will uh, is way of uh, uh, helping us balance out our lives absolutely do you think it deliberately was sent absolutely we were we had started uh, individually started thinking that I am the most powerful person power is about greed power is about power power is about this we are sending now our people to Mars Mars we already colony worldwide and the biggest nations the most number one nations Europe or America they really really got most impacted than other third world countries because somehow or the other third world countries have a sense of immunity because unke paas system hi nahi hai unke paas ye ye pani peene ke liye hi nahi hai main nalke ke pani se pani peeta tha jab bombay mein aake maine ye ye aerated dusra pani peena shuru kiya tab meri tabiyat kharab hone shuru hui aadat hi nahi thi so i think this uh, and how could they how could god or whosoever that super power is how could he he or she teach uh, a lesson to the whole world by sending one small virus. It's a learning that has happened on a world level. 
Yeah. Everybody has uh, has learned the, their lessons. Mm-hmm. It's maybe anybody who does not learn the lesson is some there is something wrong with the person. But I personally feel change is very silent. You don't know it happening then overnight. It will feel maybe the younger generation after five years, ten years will talk about oh this is what happened. This mm-hmm. is this is how the world has become different. Yeah. It negativity was becoming so rampant. You could only see um, nastiness and bitchiness, if I have to use that word. The, the, the kind of negativity we went through it. To me, after three years or five years, being cool will be being honest. Being cool will be being compassionate. <clears throat> being uh, cool will be being, uh, being straightforward. To be able to talk to other person, because we also understood kindness, as you very rightly said. That's a very simple 1% of population of the world which may have become cynical or yeah. negative or whatever it is, or pessimistic. But 99% people all over the world uh, discovered that it is important to be human beings if we are supposed to be called human beings. Yeah. And very interestingly, this also came through the negative uh, feelings of uh, fear and insecurity. It is those that really brought us together into a uh, positive it's, sphere. It's, it's always fear and tragedy which brings us together yes. in life. You, you said in the book that uh, uh, life is not always what we think it is and uh, it does not always go as per plan. Um, and but, but you also said that life is what we make of it and you've given certain uh, uh, valuable tips to people on how to like, you know, make something of their lives on how to um, help people's lives. You've given them certain reminders, like limit the amount of news you watch, don't skip your workout, uh, meditation, it's keeping a glad Hanji. So uh, Thora, tell us a bit about that. So I discovered uh, that this pandemic also made us realize that there are very few things we need actually in life. We basically needed three things when this happened that we wanted to be go, going back to close to our closer ones, to our family, to our husband, wife, children, parents, best friends. We just wanted to be close to them somehow or the other. That was the first need that we felt. Hmm. That some ek sense of security. Ho Hmm. Number two, we discovered the only thing we need is essential commodities. Hmm. Track pants, t-shirts, hmm. a jodi kapde, or hmm. ka saman, ration mil jai, kahin se jai, roz humko sabzi mil jai, ya jo bhi hum khate hain, aur kuch nahi chahiye. Tisra, humara Wi-Fi chalna chahiye. <laughs> so that we are connected to the world. When I discovered that, I went to my room, I opened my cupboards and got out all my things which I have never worn. Thousands of trousers, shirts, t-shirts, even pens. Jinke, jo, jinke expiry date purani hogi, magar rakhi. We are all, we just we hoard, hoard, things. hoard things. Yes. We hoard things because, nah, 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 ye pada rahen dije. Kurana lifafa jo kula nahi hai, usko bhi rakhen hai. Shayad kama jai. Shayad kama jai. Ye humari adat hai, ye shab, I don't know whether Hindustan yoga, but worldwide hai adat. हम क्या-क्या चीजें खरीदते थे किसी ने मुझे लगता नहीं किसी ने गुची बैग इस्तेमाल किया 10 दिन 10 साल 10 महीने में कौन लेके गुची बैग बैठ के लेके ये वीडियो कॉल करेगा पागल लगेगा या गैस के ग्लासेस पहन के आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू कौन बैठ के मैक का मेकअप लगाने मुझे अरे मेरे को जैसे तैसे मुंह हाथ धोलूंगा जैसे तैसे नीचे मैंने ट्रैक पैंट पहनी ऊपर टी-शर्ट पहनी ठीक है वी बिकेम सो फ्री ऑफ दिस यस कॉन्सेंस ऑब्सेसिव थिंग्स this was the biggest uh, lesson that we learned. How many kitani apka ek kona piche acha hona chahiye dheere dheere ab to aesthetic sense bhi aagi piche painting nazar aani chahiye piche aapki aapki color ki jo hai ye plant pada hona chahiye plant pada hona chahiye wo bhi kitna ab iske piche ye bhi fikr nahi rahi thode dino baad ki kahin mother in law chalti hui na chali jaye ya bachcha na aa jaye ya kutta na dhoondta hua aa jaye we became so real we had taken away the sense of reality from our lives. Mm. We were we were becoming caricature of our own self and we had stopped recognizing ourselves uh, who we are. Mm. 
तो सारी बाल्टियां गिरा गिरा के ना हमने पानी की हम अंदर से साफ सुथरे निकल कर आए जो हम थे जो हम हैं जो हमें होना चाहिए um uh, was said about you uh, by mahesh bhat mm-hmm. and bahut zyada positivity bhi shayad suit nahi karegi because though, because of what he said he mm-hmm. said um, and i'll read it out he said he uh, anupam oscillates between uh, dread and hope mm-hmm. nervous but confident mm-hmm. that's what he is and he said to you to cure you is to kill you keep mm-hmm. this angst helplessness unhappiness going stay thirsty He said, उस दिन प्यासा आया था अब भी प्यासा ही है थर्स्टी एंड हंग्री इज दैट एन एप्ट डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ यू एंड इज देर एनी फेयर ऑफ यू लूजिंग दैट हंगर एंड दैट थर्स्ट इफ यू गेट पॉजिटिव आई डोंट है Yes, I decided four or five years back that I don't want to own property. मुझे क्या करना है property ले के? The only play, proper property that I bought in four years back was a house from my mother in Shimla because one day I asked her. She after my father passed away, she started living with us. So I used to always tease her, Mama, आपके पास तो सब कुछ है, आपके पास अनुपम खेर है, अब आपको क्या चाहिए? She surprised me by telling me that मुझे ना घर चाहिए. मैंने कहा घर तो है, मेरे पास है, राजू के पास है. आपको क्या चाहिए? कि नहीं Shimla में. Hmm. I said we don't live there now. She hmm. said no. All my life I used to live in a rented home in Shimla, and my uh, my desire and dream used to be that one day I must own a house. So I said you will own a house in Shimla, but will you go and live there? She said yeah, I will go to the heat. So that is so. Then I told her I should go to Shimla. She said but I need a one bedroom hall. Hmm. So she was seeing this house in Shimla that I wanted. She said but I need a one bedroom hall. She said but I need a one bedroom hall. She said but I need a one bedroom hall. She said but I need a one bedroom hall. She said but I need a one bedroom hall. She said but I need a one bedroom hall. She said but I need a one bedroom hall. She said but I need a one bedroom hall. She said but I need a one bedroom hall. She said but I need a one bedroom hall. She said but I need a one bedroom hall. She said but I An old hundred years old house, which has a one-bedroom hall ki entrance from outside. Thi. Hmm. So she liked that place. So she called me up and she said, "I was in Mumbai, and she said I have found the house. It's a small house. Its entrance is from outside. So I asked the broker. I said, 'How many rooms are there in that whole house?' He said, 'Yeah, nine bedrooms.' So I said, 'I have to give my mother a gift, so I will do something great.' Hmm. So I said, 'Ask the owner. Can he sell the whole house?' Hmm. So he said, "I know." And I said, "Don't tell him it's me, hmm. because then he may increase the." Yeah, yeah. But Anupam cared about it. So let's go. So he said, "Ji, okay, this is the amount he is giving." I said, "Buy the whole place." Hmm. And then I told my mother, "I said, do do you want to see the other rooms on the phone?" She said, "No, but I have to do what I have to do. I have to do what I have to do. I have to do what I have to do. I have to do what I have to do. I have to do what I have to do. I have to do what I have to do. I have to do what I have to do. I have to do what I have to do. I have to do what I have to do. I have to do what I have to do. I have to do what I have to do. I have to do what I have to do. Mm-hmm. He started shouting at me. He said, "Your brain is bad. I don't need such a big house. Who will take care of it? Etc. Etc. But anyway, I bought that house. So that's the only uh, thing. So, but Bhatsab says, Bhatsab, he says, "No, no, 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 आप किसके साथ रहते हो? Because but having talked to you for forty five minutes, I am interested in you as a person to know about you also. So that is the way I am. It is not sense of insecurity or fear. Uh, yes, I do remember the days that I, when I was struggling actor and I used to roam on the streets of Mumbai and I really went through lots of. Uh, humiliation undignified times because they slept on railway platforms but i use those stories to elevate myself today and to inspire other people yes. that going through bad time is also good because in your good times you will talk about those bad times and they will become stories yeah. of inspiration yeah so i i and also i think i acknowledge my life every day i live every single day that's why the title of this book is your best days today Yeah. I live. For, I don't plan things. Mm. I don't think that today I have one crore in the bank. Next year, I have three crore. So, what do I do? Three crore. Food is good. I get good food. 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 I get जितना महल में रहने वाला परेशान था इस वाज अ ग्रेट लेवल ऑफ एग्जैक्टली एब्सोल्युटली 
It so had the same uh, problems, the same issues. Yeah, but I, 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 please send me that uh, Mahesh WhatsApp thing. I liked it. Yes, I, <laughs> I will. It, I will. It, it, it makes me very, very uh, sensationally some weird, magnetic kind of a person. Yeah. No, I like it. I like it because I really feel that, um, you know, sometimes when we think, even as an author, um, if somebody, there are many authors and lots of all of them, you know, you, they come for Write India, this project that we started for aspiring yes, authors. Yes, I for that. Yes, I love and that. And they come up to you and they say, I want to write a bestseller. Now, you can't write a bestseller. You can only write a book, which it's may like or may I not be. A bestseller, most, more, I, it's like saying, I want to make a blockbuster Absolutely. movie. Absolutely. Yes. So when you have that hunger to make a movie, but not a blockbuster, the hunger to write a book, but not a bestseller, that's the only time that you can get that kind of success. Exactly. I mean, you have a hope of getting it then. Yes. But not Absolutely. if you focus on that. That's what this uh, quote of uh, Bhatt Sahib for you, you know, says that that hunger yes. is there in you. Till today, it's so important to have that thirst, to have that hunger. I, so I, when you don't plan for the future, then possibly you have not planned another book as well. I told you that I had not uh, uh, any of these this, book, this book at all. Yeah. No. But now, because I really felt the urge to write this book, I enjoyed the process of writing it. It gave me peace in a strange manner. But now I have this, really this desire to write another book. Now I want to move towards this author kind of a thing. Yes. In fact, I'm in Masuri and yesterday I went for a walk and I was thinking, if I next kitab about the next book, I'll write about what I'll because yeah. I can only write about what I feel, yes. what I go through. Um, I will send you my autobiography. Please, uh, I would love to know your reactions to it. Yes. That's also a very unusual autobiography. It yes. only talks about my failures hmm. it don't, and how I laughed at them. I look at my life from a comic point of view. Yeah. I mean, in real life also, every situation is comical. Yes. I was talking to you right now. This housekeeping person was constantly knocking from <laughs> side. And from there's a window here. And then she started looking at it. And then she started <laughs> talking to this machine called this uh, laptop. Yeah. And then she told, and I'm, I'm, you must have noticed me looking. And then she said, <laughs> to me, that is the most comical situation. It's funny. I, yes, of course. It's yeah. funny. Yeah. yeah. So, so I look at life from a, uh, from a funny... But that life. again is, I don't know whether to call it a blessing or it's something that, you know, you have to work on in life that you are able to see things with a quirky eye and able yes. to see fun and humor in everything. That yes. is so important. And I think that helps you be a good human being. You can make it easy. I'm, as I said, happiness is something you have to practice. Mm -hmm. You have to practice for three months. Okay. Now, this is Anupam telling to Vinita. Yes. This is a Guru Mantra. Somebody's called me Guru Kher the other day. Navika, <laughs> Navika called me Guru yes, Kher. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I feel that you like you practice motor driving, like you practice cooking, like you practice everything, and then you become masters of that. Hmm. So why can't we practice happiness that for three months, starting from today, from the 16th of December to 16th of February or March, you will only react to situations positively and happily. Chai aapko kuch bhi bol de. Hmm. You're right. Will be difficult, it will be, hmm. but it will be difficult for only those three months. Yeah. They will also go cuckoo because they will think what's gone wrong. Uh -huh. so <laughs> yeah. Better to make them feel like that rather than come across as a cliche parent for them because they are very smart. Hmm. So if you practice for three months, kuch bhi it will be tough. It will be withdrawal symptom, not able to do that. People will, after three months, you will have the mastery of it then you will get used to it that is what i do asa nahi ki mujhe gussa nahi aata pareshan nahi ek to main delay karta hu apna response my grandfather used to say delay your response by 4 seconds it really helps so i was very fortunate to be living with my grandparents kya kya cheeze sikhayi unhone and i was a struggling actor and i was going through horrible times especially when i was sleeping on the platform i wrote to my grandfather i said i don't want i'm a gold medalist from drama school I don't want to live in Mumbai. I want to go back in Lucknow and Shimla and just teach somewhere. So he wrote a brilliant letter to me and he said, listen to me. You have lived now in Mumbai for one and a half years. Your parents have really gone out of their way to give you education. You're a gold medalist. You must have made some relationship. Stay back and remember, bhiga hua admi bari se nahi darta. How nice. Ki baat hai. Ab ye, that book, jo aapne book dikha, that's dedicated to him. Wo line usme likhi hui. अब जब भी मुझे कुछ ऐसी प्रॉब्लम होती है मैं मन में सोचता हूं दादाजी ने कहा था 
भीगावादी बारिश है मेरे तो मैं तो भीगावादी मुझे क्या डराएगा yeah. उम्र भर अपने ही गिरे बांस से उलझने वाले बड़ी बड़ी अच्छी लाइन है कि उम्र भर अपने ही गिरे बांस से उलझने वाले तू मुझे मेरे ही साये से डराता क्या है बहुत खूब ब्यूटीफुल दैट्स अमेजिंग so let's hope that uh, in our next times literature yeah. festival we can yeah. invite you with your next book maybe on happiness maybe yeah. on whatever topic that you want to write I, about i would love i would i think that's a great uh, idea to write about happiness yes so we look forward to that i, I will acknowledge it that it was given to me by uh, two things one is that pura naam kyun lete hain school ke bachche ka and yeah. the other thing is that my book called Perfect. happiness was uh, a part of this conversation that we had This has been a wonderful interaction, and I've really enjoyed it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you for uh, listening to me uh, so brilliantly and so compassionately. It's Thank been you. a pleasure. Thank you so much, Anita. Stay safe. Take care. All the best.